Your name is... Sorry, you're gonna need a minute. Okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out. Because of the monster. The thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you barely got away from. Minutes up, though. You take a deep breath, let the uncertainty slip away into the toothy, arm-waggling darkness, and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Clare. You live just outside the town of Hauntswitch. You are, in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. Speaking of, that monster, the one that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now, it might be headed back outside, where your little brother is. You've got to warn him! You have the tap dance abilitech to your techniche. Yep, those are words to refer to those concepts. You learn them literally just now. These'll help if there's anything you need to shake up, or shake off, or if you're just in the mood to shake it. Puppy Surprise is having puppies! How many? That's the surprise! 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 Puppy Surprise! Ugh, whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes, where they stay as safe as a teen hiding from her bedroom from a snake monster. You reach inside the expectant plush canine and... Puppy Surprise is having puppies! She actually came with five puppies, but you gave two away to make room for other stuff. You don't know anybody else who got five. Some kid from school got four in hers, and she wouldn't shut up about it for a week. You're not one to brag, but... Yeah, you walked with a little spring in your step for a while, after birthing that quintet of pups. Maybe you five puppy people are just cut from a different cloth. Ah, yes. No one would ever think to look for your precious diary key inside a plush mother dog. Least of all your brother, who is upset he didn't get one of the puppies. Jude can be pretty melodramatic. Speaking of precious keys, there's also a beautiful old trinket that used to belong to your mom. You have no idea what it is, but looking at it reminds you of her. Honestly, you're not sure you'd be comfortable leaving it here, with everything that's going on. You collect the diary key from its plush hiding loom. While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Just a feeling. A deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. Your walkie-talkie. Half of the set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Hmm. Feels a little light. Uh-oh. Yep. No batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall exactly what that something else was. Looks like Jude scurried up to his treehouse to get away from that thing, unsurprisingly. He acts like it's his mission control room up there, as if a goofy kid legitimately has any secret business of that sort. Outrageous. You're not allowed up there, he says, to which you reply, you'd rather step on a rake than set foot in his rickety little nerd hut. You school him so often, you really should be pulling in a teacher's salary. You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. Oh, right! That's where you put those walkie-talkie batteries. You'll just... take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake first. Jude's probably fine. Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. Well, nostalgia satisfied. 
Might as well scavenge the batteries. Success! The walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power! You feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It's just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available modern technology. You don't care, though. You're counting it! Jude, you there? Are you alright? Yes! Been covertly signaling status and requesting yours, over. You mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such easily decipherable code, over. Enemy agents everywhere, over. Wait, unover. Still unconfirmed vis-a-vis -vis your condition following enemy serpent encounter, over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross, over. I'm fine. No bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great. Was worried. Over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on it, I think I heard it clomping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans on leaving current location. Yard crawling with cryptid vanguard. Over. Yeah, whatever's going on. I guess we should just wait it out since we're both safe where we are? Negative. Over. What? Why not? Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or? Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence points to Ontaris class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Repeat. Unsecured channel. Can't discuss details. Over. That's fine. I'm not leaving my room because of your dorky conspiracies. Trust crucial on the battlefield, Joey. Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation away from typical skepticism. Over. Okay, that's... that's fair. Okay. What do I need to know? Your current position not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic, Joey. Over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Strong door. Well stocked with tactical material. Take left outside of bedroom. Go upstairs. Highest room in the house. Over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable ranting from my treehouse lunatic brother. Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Call the cops? Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. Oh right, 911 blocked our number after all your prank calls. Drills, not pranks. Look. Xenomorph incursion preparedness drills failed miserably by fat cat xenomorph collaborators of Haunt Switch PD. Jude. On our own. As a house, as a species. Over. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon? Over. Why would I need it? I thought the plan was for me to sneak to the attic. Serpents swarming everywhere. Over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame you for being nervous with high concentration of serpents present. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where your weapon is? Over. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. Yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, Squirt. You don't want to leave without writing what could be your last words ever in your diary. Exciting stuff happens to you once in a green moon. Or was it blue? You're too excited to think about moon colors now. And no, you're definitely not just stalling for an excuse to avoid going out and facing that beast.
Since she's been gone, you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. Guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. That little girl there, she's destined for big things. Big hopes. Big fears. Big worries. Big loneliness. Now hold on! Pull yourself together! What would your mom say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish you knew. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except, they're just your boring secrets. So you don't care. Maybe something from your past will shed some light on today's terror mysteries. Some little detail. Mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key clicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates in a catastrophe of snake monsters. April 13th, 1994. Dear Diary, Ho hum. Nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. The kids at school are jerks, though, and they call me a poser when I try to talk about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be... evil? Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th, 1994. Dear Diary. Phew. First day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a break from all those clowns at school. Sometimes I think what I really need is a vacation from humanity. Joey. October 25th, 1994. Dear Diary, I can't believe I haven't recorded an entry since the beginning of last summer. Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. Hmm. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped into the house to drop off more stupid mummies and globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad when we were growing up? I miss Mom. Joey. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum you're going to scare the bejesus out of whoever finds it once you're snake chow. November 11th, 1994. Dear Diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited? Anyway, can't talk much now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl, possibly hungry for kid meat too, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. Joey. Satisfied you've done your duty vis-a-vis -vis posterity in case the worst should happen, you relock your diary and hide the key again. Safe and sound. Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get the drop on you. So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then go up to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also refrain from excess chatter. Over? Oh right, yeah. Bye. Could alert monsters. Over? Yeah, I got it. I'm going. Bye. Can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. Silence Golden. Over. Jude, shut up. Remember one time on training mission? Couldn't keep my trap shut. Oh boy, really landed us in a pickle. Over. You've never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie. Bye. Over and... This gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. You don't use guns. It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appear to be some of your brother's empty cans of Pringles. Jude insisted the terrified horse was being abducted. Your counter-argument completely schooled him. This painting now commemorates your triumph and a particularly spectacular Equian nativity.
Your light break. Hours of fun. With the number of hours and the degree of fun dependent on the power of your imagination. Which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. This is the door to your neurotic dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. He keeps it locked up tight because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd stink and goober crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same, that's one you'd rather let Jude deal with. He always keeps it locked. Even if you did manage to get in, he probably has traps set up. Not worth trying to get the gum out of your hair again. Plus, there'd be his pet to deal with. No thanks. You've always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like the eye is following you. But only sometimes. It's the hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in here. You wonder if it has what you're looking for. That box probably has the stuff you need, but you can't reach. Huh. You wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Wonder what's stashed in here. Nothing fragile, you hope. You pick through the box and find... Your flashlight! And... An old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh hey! There's some pet treats in here too. You keep caches of these all over. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. No dice. Another battery problem? You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. Dang it, Jude. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Crap. Forgot about those. Please keep safe. Over. No, I'm throwing them all away. Joey, please. Those are my favorites. Over. I'm not throwing them away, you nerd. What do you take me for? Thanks. Over. So, I guess I head up to the attic now? That's the plan. Over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative. Over and out. You got your strife weapon back. Time to head up to the attic, right? You're taking a leap of faith with Jude on this one, but he seems to at least think he knows what he's talking about. On the rare occasion he is home, Pa can be heard bumping around up here while tending to his hoard of stupid antique trash. Or, priceless artifacts, you mean. No, you don't. It's locked, but you need to get in there as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been there? Hey! Attic door locked. Cripes, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part. Over. It's fine. No big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother sent me to the safety of the wrong side of a locked door! Is it... not fine? Jude! Panic not necessary. Still need to get you to attic. Over. For safety. Right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that. Over. Although, so far, it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please! 
Just need you to head to Trophy Room. Over. Oh, gross. I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father not relevant. Over. Fine. Over and out. Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. Ooh la la! That their mom is looking tres glamnifique! When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. You and your very good dog! Huh? There aren't any pictures of you three together, so... You tried to make one, through the art of composition. By hanging these three solo photos together, it's kind of like there's a photo of all three of you. Sorta. A lovely diptych of school portraits, the laser backgrounds, the bad hair days, simply perfection. <laughs> Jude puts the dip in diptych, you mutter to yourself. Such an unreal burn on the unsuspecting chump but he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe neither do you. Pa, and someone you presume is his... sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned. Not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird to think you might have like a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young? The old timey times were pretty rough. Mom is the picture of grace and radiance. And Pa's just Pa. Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and mustache. Or at least one of the two. You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now, probably more than with Mom and Pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. You wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened. Maybe a betrayal? No, impossible. Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anybody in his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. Ugh. You can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways was how he never actually looked at you much. Let alone your eyes. So, head to the trophy room? Affirmative. Over. Got it. Over and out. This guy. What's he so happy about anyway? His expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever that your pa plundered him from. Well, it seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PsyOps, over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally, over. Not literally. It's still late afternoon, I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting into trophy room then. Over. Fine then, Mr. Mission Control. Yes, great. Over and out. Pa's major totem of power, 
The clunky gadget controls the TV, the garage door, toaster, thermostat, and pretty much everything else with a charge running through it. It's pretty hefty. You pop open this behemoth, and... SCORE! You pocket the E-cell batteries, right into the old Silidex. These batteries are so huge, they don't even begin to fit. Like fitting a round peg into a round hole that's a bit smaller than the peg. You'll need some D-cell batteries. A piano can be used to turn the slight motion of one's fingers into music. Those ivories, how they beg to be tickled. But you mustn't! Also, you, uh, can't. Oh, that would be just the thing, wouldn't it? Some kind of eerie, lonely sonata to really set the tone for the adventure ahead. Something in a minor key, maybe? It's a shame that it would probably provoke a bunch of monsters to eat you. Also, you can't really play the piano. This piece was too depressing, so you gave it a nice refinishing. If your pa has a problem with it, he's welcome to say so the next time he's actually around. Hmm, you wonder if you'll be driving by then. To college? Where you teach because you're an adult and 20 years have passed? The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful. Although, maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp. Goodness. You'd like to meet the lady who modeled for it someday. You've always enjoyed this painting, particularly because the lion looks so... alive. Whoever painted it must have a very good imagination. Either that, or they painted it very, very fast. This room is really giving you the creeps. You hear something. Breathing. Something else, you mean. Besides you. Just as you pass into the living room, pulling the door shut behind you, it shuddered as something heavy and wet slammed against it from the other side. I can't see anything in the trophy room. It's way too dark. Odd. Rest of house navigable? Over. Considered utilizing flashlight? Over. You mean the one you filled with your pogs? That flashlight? Joey, please. Over. No use dwelling on the past. Over. It doesn't matter anyway. Something's blocking the door to the trophy room now. Something? Over. Yeah, I'm not sure what. Strange. For now, recommend restoring power before sunset completely. Over. Okay, geez, you're right. Okay, I'll do that. Thanks for the reminder. Need electricity to retrieve key anyway. Over. What? Can't discuss over insecure channel. Over and out. Any hot tips for getting the power back on? Power outage seems to grant invaders significant advantage. Over. That's not really a tip. That's more like just an explanation for why I'm trying to do it. Not sure what to tell you. Circuit breaker probably in basement. Over. See, that was very helpful. Thanks. Doing my best. Over and out. The sound you've heard since you've entered the kitchen grows louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you ever heard. And you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Hmm. The radio is clearly, although weirdly, functional, despite not being plugged in. You might be onto something here. You open the battery compartment. Okay, good. If this radio didn't need batteries to make those noises, you'd have to upgrade the spookitude to business class spookitude. And frankly, you can't afford that. Jackpot! D cells. You can never have too many batteries. And never in too many sizes, either. Uh, 
another electric device successfully powered through the clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire! With your flashlight fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low light environments, and also to beat the bejesus out of any of those creeps that get too close. Although, that's a last resort of course. This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been ever since your pa left him here months ago. Yeah, not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over here. Pa loves his blue lady portrait so much, he keeps redundant backup scattered around. Because it's okay if you ignore something supposedly precious to you, as long as you're paying attention to something kind of similar in another location, right? You decide not to pull on that psychological thread, because you have important work to do, and who needs that crappy old blowhard anyway? With your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all sorts of cooking implements, ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really now, you can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way. You can't reach the circuit breaker. You cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug, or whatever. You flip the breaker, and... STRIFE! Shuffle in scoop! Hot step it! Let's do lunge! Check please! Graceful abscond! Prima abscond, Joe! Power back on! You're doing... Or psyops of encroaching forces, over. Give you back light just to snatch it away? Described hypothetical, very cruel. Dealing with sick operators, over. No, it was just me, Crimity Jude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with that at some point. Second encounter with Serpent, correct? Beast Willy, but Sister already established superior williness attribute, over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle. Over. Wait, what? Add it, key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop. Over and out. Better not tempt fate. You just barely escaped that serpent. You mean snake. You mean monster. It's just a monster. Snakes don't have legs. It has a ton of legs. Way more than you, even. You're more like a snake than it is! Okay, you've gotten away from your original point a little, which is that you're not going back down there. Strife! Opening course! Fletch your eyes on the prize! Aw, he really enjoyed that pet treat. Maybe you don't need to fight him after all. Anyone for seconds? 
Make mine a double! Treat to a pull! Alright! Monster inflicted death scene averted! You are unbelievably stressed out right now! Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 2! Attain rank of Tail Waggling Tyro! Max HP increased by 12! Muscle increased by 7! Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 3! Attained rank of Minute Mammal Mender! Dexterity increased by 2! Grace increased by 6! Leverage increased by 5! Congratulations! You've ascended to rung 4! Attained rank of Peppy Patterer! Mastered Noggin Bop! Hubris increased by 4! Courtesy decreased by 2! This is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. Why couldn't your paw just leave their regular eyes in? And also, more importantly, leave their heads attached to their body? You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. You've never been entirely clear on what's going on in this tapestry, but it certainly looks intense. Just look at that fire-breathing serpent beast at the bottom, and that red-eyed figure on the throne? What's their deal? This, uh, whatever this is, depicts some heroes conversing with a huge monster. Do the monsters help them? Kill them? You prefer to imagine everyone gets out okay, but you know life is rarely that kind. So, where's the key? In his desk or something? Would never leave such critical item in such obvious location, over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I just had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromised, can't discuss countermeasures over unsecured line. Utilize puzzler skill set, over. Ah, fine. Call back if assistance required, over and out. Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds, but you don't recognize any of the continents on this one. You'd have a better idea of what you were looking at if you could read these scribbly labels. All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate... TREASURE? You spin the globe and watch the white beams rake across the surface of the globe. As if being dead weren't bad enough, your pa replaced his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light refracted in their faceted stare gives you the creeps. But, are you crazy? Or is there some light reflecting off his antler too? Maybe it bears closer examination. There's something odd about the antlers. You can't quite put a finger on it. Or can you? Maybe, in a literal sense? Whoa, that sure did something. Jude, I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? Over? I turned on a laser, but that's it? Nothing else is happening. Thought you were Puzzle Master. Was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on. Over. Believe this calls for... Burns. McGruff Crime Dog experiences trouble? Unbelievable. Over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior burn formulated. Ace Ventura Pet Detective? Please respond if ice required. Over. Okay, that's a pretty good burn. That was solid. You nailed me. Forgive me if boundary overstepped. Have been informed mildly contentious banter cornerstone of squad camaraderie. Over. Yeah, it's fine. Anyway, how am I supposed to solve this thing? This clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles. Over. I'm thinking as hard as I can. You know I like puzzles. 
I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles. Over? What are you talking about? Trivial, really. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You... you don't? None nearby? Over? No! Oops. Over.